Okay, uh, hello everyone. My name is Christopher. I'm a software engineer at Kong, uh, where I work on open source service mesh called Kuma. And today I want to talk to you about the latest features that we uh, released in Kuma. Okay, but uh, what is Kuma anyway? Uh, Kuma is an open source service mesh that allows you to bring security, observability, and uh, advanced routing capabilities into your service mesh installation um, and into your microservices uh, as well. Uh, so, okay, uh, it supports both Kubernetes and, and VM workloads. Uh, it can be deployed in multiple clusters and in uh, multiple regions and is built on top of Envoy. Okay, so let's get into it. The first uh, feature I want to talk about is called auto-reachable services. So uh, when your service mesh is really big and you have a lot of Envoy configurations going over the network and so on, this can get really heavy on the network CPU and memory. So up until now, you had to manually define, if you wanted to you know, mitigate that, you had to manually define which services your service is consuming, and then the service mesh would only send over this configuration. But right now, if you use mesh traffic permit and auto-reachable services, this will be automatically figured out and you get the performance benefit pretty much for free. The next thing I want to talk about is a new policy that we introduced. It's called Mesh Load Balancing Strategy. It allows fine-grained control over how the uh, routing is done inside your zone and across zones. So the first part of mesh load balancing strategy is called uh, local zone and under there you have affinity tags and based on those tags and the weight you assign, uh, you decide how much traffic goes to which workloads with the same value of a particular tag. So in this case, 99.9% uh, .9 of the traffic will go to the workloads with the same kubernetes.io slash hostname tag, and 0.1% will go to topology.kubernetes.io slash zone. And the second part of mesh load balancing strategy is called cross zone. And here you decide what happens with the traffic uh, when the workloads are not available in your local zone. So uh, in this example, if the workload is not available in US-1 zone, uh, we will fail over to the uh, US-2 and US-3 zones. Okay. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is source and destination policies are getting deprecated and are being replaced by target rep policies. And target rep policies are way more flexible when it comes to like selecting which proxies configurations are going to be changed and what happens to the incoming and outgoing traffic. So in this example, we have mesh access log and a target ref policy consists of a couple of levels. The first one is the top level target ref, uh, which defines which proxies uh, configuration is going to be modified. So in this example, uh, the uh, proxies related to the reviews service with a tag version equal to uh, canary are going to be modified. And this is uh, access log policy, so we decide what uh, traffic is being logged. So in this example, in the from section, we defined all the incoming traffic that is going to be logged. So in this case, it's going to be everything coming from within the mesh. And in the to section, we define what outgoing traffic is going to be logged. So in this case, this is going to be like everything going to a service called backend is going to be logged. The next thing I want to talk about is the standalone mode is getting deprecated and we are replacing it with a federation. So standalone mode is a way of just trying out Kuma. So you have one uh, centralized installation. You just spin up uh, a Kuma deployment. You connect a couple of services and then uh, you can deploy a couple of policies and play around with it. And uh, up until now, if you wanted to go from this demo setup to something more or production ready, you had to start from scratch. And now using federation, you can actually connect this already running zone into a global control plane and 
deploy more uh, control planes in other regions as well. You don't have to start from scratch, it is really easy. Um, okay, one thing that I wanted to also mention is that we're in a process of getting incubating status, so you can thumbs up this PR if you want to. And lastly, just go around and play with Kuma. You can visit kuma.io and just go through the tutorials there. You can also visit our booth and we're going to have uh, live demos uh, on first day from 10.30 to 1.30 p.m. Thank you very much and have a great conference.